Now, if I said we were at a bike show, you would maybe think of the NEC. You'd perhaps think of the big rock and blues custom show or maybe the big show in Peterborough, the big BMF rally. Well, none of them. This is St Andrew's Motorcycle Show. St Andrew's is a little school in Radcliffe, just outside Manchester. And this is the car park of Radcliffe Borough Football Club. And this is their bike show. Well, it takes a bit of putting together an event like this and you'd expect a big team of, of fellas, I suppose, because fellas organise most bike things. But down to the ladies, I think, this time, mainly. Mrs Bowes, your headmistress of... Is that headmistress, head teacher? Head teacher, we Head say teacher, now, I, yeah. I do apologise. <laughs> of St Andrew's School. That's right. Right, most schools would have a garden party. Yeah. You have a bike show. Yeah. Um, so, so why? Well, we're having a bike show because it brings in lots and lots of different people and uh -huh. we want to raise money for our school buildings. We have to raise some of the money every year to refurbish and improve our school buildings. Right. And Mrs Gray decided a few years ago that this would be a good way of... Uh, organising and getting some extra cash for the school and it's grown it's our third year now yeah. third motorcycle show and it's bigger and better than ever it's fantastic i think it's great so carol you you organize this but you, you somebody told me before you're not really into bikes i can't stand bikes you can't stand bikes. bikes you can't say that well i belong to a biking family so my father would shoot me if i told him the truth <laughs> what i really thought from the other half but um no but you're good at organizing things well i used to do it for a living full time right travel the world doing seminars world conferences study tours that type of thing so right. i've got a bit of experience in putting things together yeah well, you've and with the help of the committee it's We'll You've done there. a good job. Well, the committee, that's where you come in, Mandy. Yes. Chairman of the... Chairman, joint chairperson. Action, chairperson of the yeah. Joint Action Group or something. Jo joint Action Committee, Joint Action yes. Committee, yeah. right. OK, so yeah. is it a nightmare organising a bike show like this? Uh, not with people like Carol and Mrs <laughs> Bose's support and the rest of the committee. We're a small committee. We raise a lot of money for that school right. and we work very hard and it's all for the good of the children. We really exactly. need to increase the capacity in that building for yeah. the children because the, the classrooms are small and outdated slightly so we want to get the best facilities we can. Now, if you're going to get married you generally uh, book a white Rolls Royce or a big white limo or something like that but um, you can now book a bike or a trike actually Susan. Trike. This is your trike it's Susan is. and Brian. What is it Susan tell me. It's a V8. A Rover Desperate V8. Desperate Dan V8. Desperate Dan's built this has he? Correct. Famous for his trikes. Yes. No. Brian, I would have expected you to be riding this, but Susan rides it, doesn't she? Uh, I'm the only one that can open the garage door. <laughs> so by the time I've opened the garage door, pulled it out, locked the door, Susan's on it. Right, I see. I'm so relegated you... to the back. So you do weddings on this? Correct, yes. Is it popular? Have you got lots of work? Um, not at the moment, because we've only just gone into it. Right. We did it on a show at... Um, it's been in West Orton Bike Show, and it's also been in another show. And... For the West Orton Bike Show, we decided to dress it up as a trike just for novelty value. Right, and somebody said, I like and that. And somebody said, I like that. Can I have a card? And I didn't have any. So, so you I thought. Got into it by accident, really? Correct, yeah. Right. You've ridden this here today, Susan, right? Yeah. You've come on a, an outfit, right? Oh, a monster. A monster. Absolute monster. You're, uh, this you're, you're this a, is nothing. You're a fairly, you're a big guy, if you don't mind me saying so. What are you trying to say? So, so, no, I'd expect, you know, a big guy, big bike. <laughs> Uh, so we're going to have a look at your little outfit. You can come and look at my monster, by all means. I think we're going to have a look. Let's go and show you what Brian's arrived on today. Now here it is, a monkey bike. Brian. The beast. The beast. Look at the size of it. It's a tiny little thing, a little Honda monkey bike with a sidecar. Well, people actually say that monkey bikes aren't exciting to ride. Right. Put a sidecar on it. Adrenaline. <laughs> Pure adrenaline. We must, well, we must say, must point out that this isn't yours, is it? I don't know. It was a friend of ours in the Bank Union Tyke Car Club. Uh, right. It's actually stored in our garage, so we had to pull this out to pull the trike out. To pull the other one out. So yeah. Susan nicked the trike, so I came on this. Does he know you've come on this? Does he mind um, you riding it? He doesn't mind his riding no. it. No, it's John Crompton. He's, uh, he's a market trader, so he can't be here today. But <laughs> How does it go with you, will it? I'm not being funny, like, but I mean, what are you they're, not, to say? they're not very, that again, they're not very powerful anyway, <laughs> are they? But I mean, I don't know. The, you must get some honest, funny looks. Yes, especially when you got the V8 about 10 feet behind you. Yeah, but, uh, it came me about 40 miles an hour. Blimey. Let me just show you something. Watch this here. Brian's a big, a big lad. So in the side yeah. <laughs> a bag of snow to keep it on the floor, blooming it. It'd be up in the air, that wouldn't it? Well, I told you it was exciting. I bet it's exciting. A scooter around Britain, it says there. That's exactly what David Cohn has done here. You've been right. all round the country on a scooter. On a scooter. Keeping as close to the coast as we can. Right. How many miles was that? 4,363. Wow. A scooter wouldn't be everybody's choice of, of machine to do that sort of trip on. What, was there any reason for a scooter? 
Yeah, I ride a scooter. Right. So you know, I had a scooter back in the fifties. Yeah. When I was a, when I was young, uh, and uh, after I took retirement, retired early, I bought another one. Yeah. Or went back to riding a scooter again, mainly for short runs. Mm -hmm. But I fell in love with it so much that the runs got longer and longer. How much did you raise? It's still coming in, but we've raised over three thousand pounds so far. Well, what's that for? A hospice or something? A local hospice, yes. Right. And Catherine's Hospice up at Lostock Hall, which is just south of Preston. Right. That's is that where you started from, Preston? Yeah. And did, which way did you go? We went clockwise, right. up through the Fylde coast, Cumbria, round all the way around Scotland, yeah. down the east coast, along the south coast, and wow. back up through Wales. You must be an expert now on the best biking roads in Britain then, mustn't you? You must know more. Oh yes indeed. Yeah. The best roads are in Scotland probably. In yeah. the Highlands especially, you'd be surprised. Yeah. You'd think the roads would be rubbish. They're not, they're very good. Right. Yeah. And the worst roads are Merseyside. Is that right? Uh, without doubt. Really? Well, At least which I encountered. Right. Spoken from a man who knows. Now most of the bikes have been ridden here today, but some of them haven't been ridden. This one certainly wouldn't be ridden because it's an enormous drag bike owned by Ken Thorne, Ken and Val. You do the bikes at your place, Ken. Yes, we do. You do the clothing, Val. Oh, yeah. The perfect relationship. Ken, why do you come to a show like this? Because you can't ride it here. No, um, really to promote the shop and to promote drag racing, right. that anybody with a street bike can go along and have a go. And race. And right. from then, we all started that way and we progressed. So right. we're really trying to show people that they can have a go, all whatever right. and, they've got. And this is your bike, this is a funny bike. Yes. Right, so what is it exactly? It's uh, basically a 1428 Kawasaki, well it's Kawasaki GPZ engine. Right. Built up to a 1428cc, nitrous injected. Do you get a lot of interest? Do you get people coming up to you about asking you loads of questions at a place like yeah, this? Because this yeah. is only a lo yeah. little local show. Yeah, yes we do. Yeah. It's worth your coming, isn't it? A lot of people haven't seen this type of machinery. No, so they don't really know what a, it is, do they? We're it's trying really to get more to... interest yeah. in drag racing in general. Right. Right. Well, you no. go, are we going to get any rolling burnouts on the car park this afternoon? Is no, that? That we, we did ask that, but they won't, they won't <laughs> let us because they're um, right in the batters ripping the concrete up, so <laughs> it doesn't look like we're going to it today. So it's going back home in the van? Yeah, but it's out next week at York. Right, well, good luck. It's getting very noisy here now at Radcliffe uh, Football Club because the band's tuning up right behind where you are. But there's a load of money here, which has come from the Gold Wing Owners Club, Langs and Lakes branch. Correct. Russ, right, Russ, what's going on here? Well, what it is, we, the Langs and Lakes Gold Wings, go out each year and we collect for charity. This right. year, it's the Macmillan Nurses. Okay. And this is the cheque for so far this year, 685 pounds, as you can see. And that's raised by just displaying the bikes and letting people sit on them. Right, and Dave, you're, you're here to collect it on yes. behalf of Macmillan, uh, Macmillan Nurses. Can't even say mm -hmm. it. Uh, do you get a lot of money from bikers? I've only just joined Macmillan right. Cancer really in the last month. Mm -hmm. So this is my first trip to meet the bikers. Right. But I'm looking forward to meeting many more. They're not a bad bunch, are they? They are a very generous bunch. I think you'll be getting loads of checks like this from bikers, because they're the know, most so. generous people in the world, yeah. There you go. Give him the money, Russ. Cheers, mate. It's Smash all it. yours. Thank you very much, Russ. Thank you. You know, the great thing about having a sidecar, well, a few great things, you can take three people out with you, one on the bike, one in the side, maybe even two in the sidecar, four people. People in here don't get wet. But the best thing of all, about having a sidecar is if it's like this one, you can have your own fridge. <laughs> Look at that, it's got a fridge in the back with loads of beer. Cheers, Jimmy, don't hey, mind here. Put it. that back, you're not having that. <laughs> it doesn't matter, really. Scouts, you see. <laughs> Some people go to great lengths to make their bikes look beautiful and some people even build their own bikes. But Brian here, you've not quite built the bike, but you've built the sidecar. Built the sidecar, yeah. Right, well, me wood I've done. Well, well, just tell me about the sidecar first. What's it made out of? Plywood uh, and fiberglass. Right. And, and the wood's still there, it's still under. Is it still underneath there, yeah? Yeah. Still under fiberglass, yeah. And and you, now the painting, this is what, what interests me because it's, it's beautifully finished. What's it painted with? Tell us. You know these small aerosol cans? Yeah. 48 of them. Wow, 48 cans, the little yeah. shaky jobs with the yeah. ball burning. Yeah. yeah. And you painted the bike as well, you sprayed the bike. The lot, I stripped the lot. The finish Took is the absolutely gamble. fantastic. And another thing, this wood, all this beautiful polished wooden dashboard here. Chester drawers. A Chester drawers, it's making this out of a Chester drawers. Yeah. Have you got a piece in your top yeah. box? Just grab us that piece out of there. I can't believe that anyone would go to this. You can buy this stuff, you know. You can just go and buy it, it makes it. Look at that, a chunk of wood, with it, even with the dovetails yeah. on it. So that, all this all started that. like that? Yeah. yeah. Wow. And a, lot of, a lot of work. You know, you always spot celebrities at these events, and I've just spotted Wayne. Could I have your autograph, please, Mr Kershaw? Thank you. Look at that. Cheers, Wayne. Oh. <laughs> 
Well, as we know, there's a competition going on here today. People um, vying to win the various trophies for the different classes of bikes. And the two gentlemen with the thankless task, I have to say, of deciding who takes what home are Dave and Les. So, Dave, what are you looking for? Is it difficult well, to judge? It's, it's easier outdoors, actually, than indoors. Yeah. Because you can get back from the bikes and see the general character of the bike from a few yards away. Mm. And if it doesn't impress you at a distance, it's not going to impress you close to right. OK, I suppose the, the most sought-after award at any show is best overall, which is why we're stood next to this beautiful 1961 Triumph Bonneville. So, Les, perhaps you tell me, what. Why, why did you think this? What's so special about it? It's gorgeous, I know. No, but it's got all the right things on it. It's got all the right parts on it. Yeah. You know, it's not had any, any bits added that shouldn't be. Right. And it's been rowed here as well. What you see is what you get, that's, that's it, right. yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that's best overall in the show. That, that's what we think is best overall. Yeah. It's well presented. The finish is superb on it. Well, I have to agree, and I actually know the bloke who rides this, you know. <laughs> He's a mate of mine, and, and believe me, this, this is a credit to your judging skills now, because this, I don't know whether you know, this particular machine won best overall bike at the Manchester Bike Show way back in January. Very good. Yeah. I'm not surprised so looking at the quality of it. Yeah. It struck us as soon as we looked at it yeah. as being outstanding. Well, it is, and I'm sure it'll be dead chuffed.